Hello Boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. I hope everyone is staying safe out there. I We all are in for a ride and a half for the next few months and I really hope that you guys are paying attention to what's going on out there. That being said, it's okay to sit down and maybe have a drink and just relax, enjoy. And understand that, yeah, life's gonna change. One thing's not gonna change is my thirst for beer and lots of it. So today I've got something that Redbeard sent my way. This is from Sawdust City Brewing Company and it's called the Long Dark Voyage to Uranus. And it's a urinal, 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 Imperial Stout. I bugged him about the way it sounded because it's urinal, but it's supposed to be urinal. But yeah, you know, whatever it is, it is one of those ones. It's made with water, two row barley. Um, I want to say Simpsons DRC, Mars Otter, Rye, Munich, Flaked Barley, um, Carter 2, and Chocolate Malt, Dark Chocolate Malt Roasted Barley, and the Demera Sugar. Okay. Now I've had this one before. I thought I reviewed it. Um, the Albino Rhino sent me one of these and I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I don't remember and I couldn't find this review on my site. So here we are doing it again. And it's been quite a few years. This was packaged November 5th, 2019, uh, a day after my birthday. Little little thing there. Little tidbit about me. A day after my birthday, this was packaged. So coming at 9.5% alcohol by volume, we have something that is looking like molasses straight out of the can. And that is not a bad thing. That is seriously not a bad thing whatsoever. Soda City has some really good stouts, and this is what I appreciate about them. So we're going to have a quick peek here. So it's dark black. We got two fingers of a very tan head, gelatin-like. Very small bubbles coming off of there. Small snap, crackle, pop. Um, I can't see what kind of carbonation we got coming out of there. So yeah, the smell that we've got going on, a lot of coffee off of there. The roasted malts are very prominent on there, but there's a lot of coffee. This smells like a proper stout. Okay, let me correct that. This smells like a proper stout to me. This is what I look for in a stout. All right, folks, cheers. And here's to WrestleMania weekend. I'm going to go watch some wrestling after this. Mm. When you have a stout that melts like butter in your mouth, well, that's a good thing. The roasted malts off of there are absolutely beautiful. There's a coffee back note that just comes through quite subtly, but it's there. It is one of those ones where it just, it has a beautiful mouthfeel. It's a very solid, medium to almost full bodied. It is amazing. There's also a small taste of a fruity note in there, like a dark cherry almost. Not, and I know there's no dark cherries in there, but it does have that kind of sweetness of a dark cherry. Um, touch of that licorice in there as well. Mm. But overall, this is a very divine Imperial Stout. And I do believe that this is actually one of their staples that they have every year. Can't remember if it's a yearly or it's a seasonal, either or, it's amazing. This is one of those ones where I actually became very, very happy that I got a Sada City a few years back. I've not stopped thinking about them for a very long time. Whenever I see my Eastern friends have Sada City, I'm jealous. 
So Redbeard came through with this. He dropped off or he sent me a few uh, Sada City beers. They've all been very solid, all been very good and all have some amazing, amazing flavors to it. Their stouts still phenomenal. So folks, have you had this one before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think of it? For me, I am really enjoying the Sada City beers. I'm glad to see that they came this way with thanks to uh, some friends. And I hope that if anyone in Eastern Ontario does get the Sada City beers because they are an amazing brewery. Till next time, folks, I am PK saying cheers, stay frosty, and as Redbeard says, if you're along Highway 11, which I've never traveled before in my life, please go see them. Either direction, that's worth it, and I have to agree. They are definitely worth it. Have a wonderful time, and we'll see you real soon. Cheers.